All right, the judges are now on point. We'll love to see it. And we are about to start. Here we go, Luke Reiser inspecting, and this is it, folks. The season opener of the Monkey League. What will Luke Reiser get on his first solve here? Not much of an improvement. Oh, my goodness. Looks like Bill's just about to... Man. Oh, and he plus twos. Both competitors yeah. struggling a little bit here. That being said, um, this doesn't say very much about um, how this will make the average go. Um, yeah, Bill did plus two on that one. Oh, and Luke getting a 565, like a pretty nice, looks like a pretty nice solve at his full step. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and s starting off strong here with that 565. If these competitors are going to have a chance against Leo and Timon, who are the perennial favorites in this tournament, they are going to have to put down sub sixes. This is true, yeah. Um, Yeah, right now, um, you know, doing um, yeah, well, we'll work against one competitor and will not necessarily work against another. So they will have to up their game as they go later into the tournament. Yeah, okay, sorry guys. Okay, there we go. Go judges. Cheers, Stanley. Nice. Stanley getting some cheers, not even competing. That's when you know you've made it. Okay. Here we go. Better be seeing more of these, because I told my stream earlier today to, to root for me for this match. So. Yeah, and... Oh my goodness, Luke Greiser. Internet cutting out, yikes. Yeah, unfortunate. Um... Did his internet completely die? Well, we can watch Bill. Um, oh, oh. He's oh there he is, 679. <laughs> Gamer internet, yes. Spliced. <laughs> Spliced, yeah. Hey, Bill is really struggling right now, but he's going to... Oh, wow, he looks really good on this one. Yeah, that's mm. going to do it. Two lockups. Bill putting himself in a position to potentially come back in this average. Yeah. Um, both have very similar counting times at the moment, but, um, you know, um, Luke does have this insurance with the 565 single. Um, of course, not impossible to beat, but it gives him a pretty nice edge, and he'll most likely get at least one point. Wow, Luke's solving looking three. very solid right now. Yeah, for sure. The turning is very consistent, and that's what he's going to need. Looking like he's coming into that sub-7 form, but Bill as well. I mean, if he can throw down another 6 here, maybe even a 5, although it doesn't look like he likes this uh, <laughs> Leo in the chat saying uh, Luke didn't even do ZBLL. Well, yep. <laughs> And oh yikes! And that's a counting, counting nine, nine for Bill. That's good. that's gonna hurt him on this average. He will try and get get that best single to uh, try and make up for some of this lost yeah. speed. But yeah, it does yeah, look like Luke out. is going to take this one. He's already locked the average. Oh wow, Luke really showing some yes. great form yeah. here. Full step six. Oh well, that yeah, that full step six eighty five is pretty normal. Looked like it'd be a bit faster, but the end perm really hurt him at the very end. Solid, yeah, yeah. And one thing to note between these two competitors is that Bill is color neutral, and Luke does only white and yellow. So that could prove to uh, be a pretty big difference. Yeah. Uh, once Although, Bill gets warmed up, it looks like he is switching cubes. Really not liking the way he started here, for Bill. 
Luke, Luke takes that one be... pretty easily, three to zero. Yeah. Better single is not worth the same as a better average. Better single average. is worth one point, whereas the better average is worth two points. Oh my goodness. This Kentucky internet not holding up. Mm. I will adjust the settings. That champion t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, Luke wearing the champion t-shirt. Maybe trying to say something about uh, about the result of today's match ahead of time. Oh, he's going for that ZB. Gets a six. Yeah, that's pretty nice for him. Um, gonna be really going going at it uh, this time, Bill. Uh, because yeah, being down on points. Yeah, and honestly, like Bill's only down by three. He can pretty easily just take this one and get it right tied up again. This is accurate. Um. <laughs> this is accurate. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, still, I mean, anything could happen. Um, Luke will be getting a 695. Pretty all right. Oh, Bill's solid. starting to warm up. I can feel Ooh. it. Yeah, yeah that's solid Bill solving. 646, looking good. Yeah. Love to see that. Yeah, Bill actually made this cube cover specifically for this match. He does have those unique cube covers. I can't quite tell what he's got there. It looks like a protein bar box. Yeah, it looks like some sort yeah, it's just cut up, but it works so well with um the regulations. Uh Yeah, you can just stand nice. it up and then put it down. Right, yeah. Luke having a bit of hesitation here. Looked like he had a pretty easy ZBL there, but he didn't do it. And Bill continuing with the solid solves, taking the first three already in this one. He's just steamrolling through this average. We'll see if he can. He seems yeah. like he's got the average pretty well, pretty well pinned down. It'll take a lot for Luke to come back this this average, but um, we'll see yeah, if he can I get mean, that 4 -0. Luke could throw down some threes, but <laughs> it seems unlikely. Oh, wow, Luke really doing well on this solve. And oh, yeah, the color neutral versus white yellow is really going to be a big factor here, I think. I think does, Bill's solid solving style with that color neutral is, is really going to make a big difference when they're both using the same scrambles and, right. and the way it's being scored. Doing... OLO PLL over ZB. We'll see if that hurts him. This all nice will we'll Bill. Bill. take it. Um, and yeah, it looks like Bill's already taken this average. Yeah. Um, and he's actually won every single solve so far. So he actually could he could get the fifth the fifth solve here and just go four to three lead. A nice yeah, four oh for Bill. Yeah, for sure. And he's he's already won the average. He ha currently has the best single. Oh, and Luke locking up, getting nervous already. Yeah. Early mm -hmm. days. And oh taking a Y perm, unfortunate. So Bill only needs an eight. Which looks like he's got oh very down. solid from Bill. Ooh, and even with some with not a great Z perm, it'll and that's it'll a nice happen. four zero for Bill. Very nice. And 
catch Google with the facts about Bill's cube cover. Um, <laughs> bar contains 11 grams of protein and is made with real chocolate chips for outstanding flavor. Um, thank you very much. Um, very insightful stuff. Yeah, and, and Bill wasn't having any of that. He's right back into this match, already up 4-3. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Um, you know, Bill's still... one of my favorite cubers to watch because his solves are just so solid. Yeah. You know, like, he, he doesn't usually throw down very many threes or fours, but, you know, when his solves are usually very solid. And, and you know, when he gets yeah. warmed up, he can definitely be uh, contending for a sub-5 average at his right. peak. So, and just thinking about the aesthetics of his of his solving as well, like his turning style, like the best term I can use to describe is just efficient. It's very little wasted movement, and it's very aesthetically pleasing for that reason. Yeah, and uh, Luke really didn't like losing all five solves last round, so he's already won the first solve. Definitely gonna be some good insurance to not get swept again. Oh yes. Um, uh, is we... Bill doing an official solve right now? No. That was not. not but that was Maybe nice he missed scrambled. Anyway. Yeah, I think he missed scrambled actually. Mm. Uh, Bill did the last scramble. I see. Okay. Well, this is why we have judges. It's uh, it's really nice. Uh, you know, the judges are on top of it, making sure the competitors are doing their solves legitimately and following the regs. And you mm -hmm. can check yeah. out those regs at lasermonkey.com/regulations. pausing quite a bit for the CB recognition and taking a nine. Um, not the best start for him, and Luke will have taken both of the first two solves. But um, You've prepared bananas for your next match. Oh, Leo pulling out the banana strats. Very interesting. Mm. You know, the Monkey League is all about those bananas, so that uh, that could be key, actually. And unfortunately, Bill looking like he did in the first average, just kind of struggling. Yeah. A lot of... Um, yeah, and we saw this in the last match as well. Wow, Luke really pausing a lot on that solve. Oh. Surprised that it was even sub-10, actually. Mm. Yeah, there's just a lot of back and forth. Um, our competitors kind of just got it for one average and then don't really for the next. It, and that makes for an interesting dynamic, but yeah, um, you know, just taking two rounds in a row is quite advantageous, really. Um, it'll be interesting to see when that starts to happen. Luke's really going for it. Um, ooh, very nice 637. Clutching that out, and I think that might actually, that locks the average for him, I'd say. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, actually, and... if he counts the 878. But yeah, either way. Yeah, he needs an 866 to lock. Not quite one yet. In a great position, though. Um, he will not have the hardest time pinning this down on this next song. <laughs> yeah I, I would i wouldn't i would think that he can get better than 866 on demand yeah and it looks like bill has missed scrambled again and luke will be locking this yeah and luke wins the average all Bill can hope for here is a nice single. He needs better than 637 here in order to uh, in order to get at least one point out of this. Otherwise, he's going to lose 3-0. to Yeah. And, yeah, this is kind of a back-and-forth match so far. I mean, Luke, uh, Luke having pretty solid first and third rounds and Bill just crushing that second round. Yeah, this ain't it for Bill, not even solving the cross. Oh, yep, this is not sub 6.37 at all. So Luke will be taking this 3-0. to zero. Um, 
and he'll be up by two points after three rounds. Yeah, and, and honestly, in a first of 15, that's starting to look like a pretty big lead. Bill not oh, sub yes. up there, sub eight there, but you know, like he, he can he can come back in this next one. Yeah, yeah, it'll be it'll be really cool to see. Um, he's moving his cube mid mid match, which is quite an interesting strategy. Yeah, you know, I, I re I've I've been to a few comps with uh, with Bill and and I've noticed that he he usually goes for some silk and DNM in his cube right before he starts. He really likes to lube his cube right before the round. Get that cube in tip top shape. Um, yeah. So it makes sense that he's actually going for some lube during the average because you know he's already done th three averages and you know he needs he needs to add a little extra lube to to start off this fourth one. Yeah, you know he's a really big fan of his lubical silk and yeah he'll and it, sometimes it's just good to have a refreshed cube. Um, Luke will be taking a six thirty three once again, starting strong this average. Um, but yeah, we'll see if uh, Bill will be uh, solving better this round, if, if that'll make a difference or not. A nice ZBL all there from Bill. Uh, nice 648. Um, and yeah, it'll, he'll be making it close. Unfortunately, won't win the solve, but... Yeah, but this in this is... kind of format, it doesn't matter so much if he wins the solve or not. You know, he's he's yeah. just putting a good solve in there, giving himself some uh, good potential for that nice average. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and we've been seeing in a few solves how um, not only Bill's color neutrality, but also the amount of ZB that he knows is is playing a big part in this match. Wow, and a Luke boom will... Tetris for Luke! The yeah. first Tetris of this match and Luke's first Tetris in the Monkey League. Wow! Yes. He had some Three. really, really nice TPS on that one. And he looks really happy about that. My goodness, yeah, I, I have not seen Luke so happy uh, in a reaction before. Yeah, no, that was oh, wow. quite the solve. And Bill will take a 756. Yeah, um, I, not a good time for him, but definitely not a terrible time either. He, he's yeah. going to be able to count that in a decent average, so he doesn't have uh, too much risk at the moment. Oh, yeah. But Luke definitely taking a major lead there, getting that four, showing that, you know, maybe he he does have the potential to challenge for these top guys who, who get lots of Tetrises. He's a Warriors fan in 2020. <laughs> yes. Luke. Oh, Luke. On that pseudo slotting, it Luke. Looks like. Picking um, up. This, wow. Oh, no. Bill. Bill gets a 562. And it really. Uh, I don't know if, if he miss, missed Nicholas. I don't know. It was a soon J perm, but probably not the same. Yeah. Place. Yeah. If I, I, I think I saw him AUF, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, but, but uh, you know way. that that is good for Bill to get a full step five. You know, Bill is one of these guys that can definitely throw down five second averages when he's warmed up. So we'd love to see him do that. And uh, against Luke, it might be the best way to win. Yeah, um, as it turns out, solving fast does help you beat your opponent in a speed competition. Yeah, that does um, make a lot of sense. Oh, nice uh, solve. Oh, ah, yeah, and some lockups, some pauses. Not it's going to be better than uh, than Luke's, but Luke definitely with the advantage here. Needs a 668 to lock. Yeah. And this could be really big. Taking a lead by more than four points is is uh, very, very important in this kind of match. Yeah, and this will be, be kind of a bit of a mountain to climb for Luke, but it's definitely still doable and it'll this will be an exciting solve for sure um getting off to a very oh nice wow start. a very oh. nice start oh no ah there the choke is. and, and bill with the 541 the clutched it out winning that average 655 to 680 bill showing that true class there yeah but luke will still take his well-earned point for the I think single. Luke Luke had a he had a 
F2 all done in like three seconds there, maybe even less. Yeah. I, and, this uh, is one of those solves where, you know, not knowing ZVL really, really kind of... Yeah, but he do... was he was locking up there. I think it took him like three seconds to do those very easy OLL, PLL combinations. So. Right, yeah. Uh, and that's very, it's not normal for Luke, because as you can see on that solve, another boom oh! tetris for Luke! Luke is very fast at last layer. Very My happy. goodness, he was not having that last yeah. solve. He's getting another tetris. Holy yeah. moly. And here goes yeah. Bill. He's doing white cross, maybe seeing something similar to what Luke saw. And I get a 603. That is a good time. Not better than, uh, yeah. not as good as Luke, but uh, that's... That's a good That's start. It's st still going to be good. And yeah. I think Bill, honestly, Bill got very lucky there to not lose 3-0 to zero in that last round. And that 2-1 yeah. really keeping him in this match here. And mm -hmm. now he's going to start to uh, try and prove that he is actually uh, better right now. But mm, yeah. so far, he definitely has been a bit worse than Luke. Luke taking some... Ooh, those are some nasty F2 lockups. Yeah, and it looks but like Luke is struggling a little bit with layer. the nerves, honestly. Like, but it won't be he throws down these too. these Tetrises, and then and then sometimes he gets uh, <laughs> some lockups and sevens. Yeah, and I mean, it, it's difficult to follow up good solves. Yeah, and and we actually saw easy. this in in the last Monkey League match where Timon got like a five forty eight average, and he took a timeout afterwards, and you know, and we were kind of confused, like, why would you take a timeout when you're gaining so much momentum, but. But when you get such a good solve and you're so excited about it, it's it's pretty important, I think, to actually take a break there and and pause and regain your composure before you move into a solve. Because in cubing, uh, adrenaline in, in the sen uh, uh, the type of adrenaline that you get from good solves tends to be unhelpful uh, for your speed. Yeah. Oh, and a five ninety eight um, yeah. by Luke. Very it's nice. That is greatly. counting. Um, and Bill with a six forty six, very solid, but definitely much. Yeah. Uh, much worse right now. Um, Using a budget OLL, but getting an A perm, so it's not all that bad. A budget um, OLL. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And you know this this is this is part of the league, right? So this win does matter a lot. I mean, getting getting wins in the league is going to be very important for qualification for the grand finals. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, I think everyone knows that. The, the people to beat in this league are Timon and Leo, and those guys can really throw down Tetrises and sub sixes all the time. Yeah, uh, so, Luke will, so that's Luke. definitely something we're gonna want to see from both these competitors to tell them if they're uh, t to be able to tell if they're gonna have a good chance in uh, in this league. Right, but um, in any case, you know, one lost match doesn't mean the end for these competitors, as you know, they it, they are going to be in multiple matches i believe this is a swiss format right uh no it's it's um, a round robin oh we're at, oh okay yeah um in that case even more so um you know one match they can still come back from that so it, it, this isn't the yeah you only need to win three out of your five matches in the season to qualify for the grand finals so yeah you definitely have some room to air oh and luke needed a 556 there to lock let's see if bill can clutch it out again yeah Looks not like looking like a it. A little bit of trouble, but ah, um, Bill's gonna be a little bit frustrated about that one. Yeah, a six eighty three average barely, man. He just barely lost that one, six eighty three to six seventy nine. Yeah. Um, Looks like Bill miss scrambled again. And wow, Luke really not looking happy about that one. That must have been a good scramble. Yeah, it looked like he was going for some pseudo F2L, but it must have not have completely worked out in his favor. Um, and yeah, you know, it's, it's just part of learning anything new. You, there, there are failures that will be caused by um, the ambition to go for these advanced techniques. Um, yeah, and if if you don't take risks, you can't uh, you can't get those Tetrises. So, right, it's definitely very important to take some. Oh, and Bill with the little pause 
on oh, the like, pause and lockup a 592 yeah. with that LL. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was an all right ZV. Um, not one of my favorite cases, but you know, it does the job and it certainly beats OLL PLL. So. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And honestly, this is a pretty typical uh, demonstration by Bill. He, he tends to get those, those ZBs and kind of lock up on the execution. Not, not, not Leo level fluidity usually, but you know, against against Luke, his his superior efficiency is. It's possible that it, it'll it'll do well for him. Luke, uh, Luke really struggling, OLS. leaving the door open. Um, but yes. Uh, oh, very nice fluidity Luke. there. Ooh. Bill with a five eighty six. Too early to call, but you know that's that's a pretty solid start for Bill. <laughs> yeah, getting a big lead in this average. That nice ZB. Bill focusing in here. Yeah. Zen Master. I mean, Bill has been cubing a lot longer than Luke, so he does yes. have that competition experience. He has been in multiple Worlds Finals and, of course, has done very well in, in major competitions. Luke with a 662. Not the best last layer. His F2 all is quite solid on that solve. Um, Bill will be taking a 673, so still, you know, very like low six mean of three. So yeah, and his his average easy. is looking great, but that was actually pretty unfortunate for Bill because he was so close to having the first three solves won. And, right. And that's, yeah. That's really good for for. Uh, for that 4-0 sweep, which he could use here to get back into a tie match, but he's not going to be yeah. able to get it. Oh, and Luke didn't start his timer. That's going to be a mm. DNF for him. It looked like yeah. a very nice solve, That's too. pretty much going to lock the average for Bill if he can throw down something normal here. Oh, Ooh. and a 543. That's Bill kinda. looking for a sub-6 average. Yeah. He has, of course, already won the average. Yeah. He has the better single right now. Yeah, he's pogging. Let's see if this continues. Um, but yeah, it seems like um, Bill's worst possible after will be better than Luke's current best single. So. Yeah. Best possible average of 574 for Bill. Yeah. Let's, let's take a close look here and see what he can do. Uh, I'm Luke locking up, so. Yeah. Yeah, not going to save anything here. Bill has already won 3 to 0. Let's just see if he can get a good average. Yeah. Oh, it looks like he did five pairs there. Yeah. 686. Standard Bill Wang solve. Yeah, and a 617 average, winning 3-0 with those three fives. Yeah, yeah. No, that is still still quite solid, but unfortunately will not get him back, get him into the lead. Yeah, and that's actually yeah. very important for uh, for yeah. Bill here, getting uh, getting those three points, keeping the match close. You know, this is a win by four format, so right. when you get into overtime, you really don't want to be trailing and. And, uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, I think he's looking to just, you know, win this one, have 12 points in it, and at least be able to, you know, battle it out in overtime, even if he does start to get on, uh, to start to, start to lose his hot streak a little bit. Um, like, yeah. Um, but, of course, you know, anything could happen. We could just, yeah. I don't know what I'm saying, but um, see how Bill solves right now. Um, oh, know, Bill ooh, with that's the a ZB, not quite, and only that's, going to C O L L interesting PLL, case yeah. um, for six twenty three. Um, <laughs> Luke will also be doing C O L L E P L L, but getting a seven sixty one. Um, But um, 
Yeah, looks like Bill's not letting himself get. Um, looks like he's not Man. letting himself get distracted by. Leo's Leo's story. been typing in chat. He he said, "Luke, you got to do the ZB bro on the last solve." And this solve, he said, "Bill, you got to do the ZB bro." Honestly, <laughs> I'm not normally for backseating, but I kind of got to got to agree with him. Um, since I know the case, it is my duty to tell people to do it. Um, yeah. And honestly, if you're competing in the Monkey League and you're not doing the, all the ZBLLs, you're going to struggle. Yeah. But That's... Bill, with uh, with two sixes, looking good this average. Pretty big lead. Yeah. That color neutral and, you know, experience coming in, coming in clutch for him right now. For sure. Yeah. And some yeah. very... And these competitors, you know, no matter how much ZB they know, they're just, they're very good at their last layers. They have absolute mastery over their basic algorithms, like their PLLs. So, like, while it will have an impact, you know, they're still such strong competitors. Ah, oh, Luke struggling with the ZB recognition. He didn't figure it out. Yeah, unfortunately, doing COLL EPLL. And Bill with a 637, not too pleased yeah. with the quality of that solve, it looks like, but yeah. it's a good time, and it'll put him in a pretty safe situation here. I'd be surprised right. if he doesn't win this. He's taking first three at least, and that's... And he's got solid. a big lead. Look at that Amina three lead of two yeah. seconds. That's a big deal. Luke with that hanging 830 and 918. Yeah, and I'm seeing blocks on blocks on the scramble, so um, maybe not that many blocks, but... Um... Oh, and Luke getting nervous with his scramble. Fortunate, yeah, and he's taking... It looks like... Oh, and he's drinking oh. water during the solve! Oh. The patented Luke Greiser move. And Bill Wang throwing down a beautiful solve. A few lockups on that PLL, but a 592 is gonna lock the average for him. Yeah. Um, yeah, now he's just... Let's, let's see how... Um... He fights for the fourth single, and Luke's video seems to be a little bit not quite ideal. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> there we go. There he is. And Luke getting a 20 on that solve. Uh, definitely not going to be good for him. Bill Wang already won this average. Can get a 617 average. He's going to make He's sure he... Going oh my it. goodness. Luke was... 604. Wow, and Bill, Bill with a 559. 559. Amazing. 4-0. Clutching yes. out that average. He was not going to give Luke any chance. Uh, who's sponsoring this? Well, uh, this Luke is going to take his time out. All right. Well, this tournament yeah. is uh, is sponsored by me, Laser Monkey, and by the Cubicle. We're both providing five hundred dollars. Uh, so the total prize pool is a thousand dollars right now, which is great for these competitors. Yeah, uh, if they do make it to the grand finals, and uh, yeah, Luke taking a timeout here, Bill taking that lead after uh, after being down quite a bit. So yeah, if he takes yeah. this next round. Like either like a three oh four or two one, all of those will be instant victory. Yeah, so and actually Bill of... has put himself in a beautiful situation. No, oh, he's eating a protein yeah. bar. Great value protein bar. Bill showing us the key snacks. Yeah. You can and he's off. Canada got got the French translation on the bars, packaging as well. Um Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. And actually, uh, Bill up 13 to 10 right now. This is actually match point. If Bill wins this next average with a score of 2 to 1, he actually wins the entire match right there. Uh, yeah. So Bill wins the next average. It's over. So uh, this is actually a pretty tough for Luke. Win on demand right now. Yeah, and I think I think the timeout can do many different things to his mentality. Could give him exactly what he needs to win it, but also could just put too much pressure on him, and he could just crumble. Um, yeah, and and this being the the you know it's it's the league, right? So each competitor is going to do five matches. Uh, yeah, the timeout is is up to ten minutes. Yeah, 
And yes, this is first to 15. Finals matches will be first to 25, but for now, 15 is, um, yeah, it's more of a kind of yeah. shorter format since there's so many of these. There will be 15 of these matches in total. Yeah, and, so. and we don't really want to, uh, you know, make the competitors do so many solves just for, for regular season matches, you know, yeah. like... It's not like they're fighting for everything. It's you know, it's part of a series, uh, yeah, but like, the the playoff matches will be first to twenty five, so those are a yeah. bit higher stakes. And, and playing the twenty five, like doing that once, like most most people would be fine with that endurance wise, but doing that once a week five times in a row can get to be a bit much. So for the competitors' sake, it's a bit better for them yeah. to be doing. And and these right competitors now. are actually. Uh, fighting for a grand finals spot. Uh, if you get a winning record, which is three or more wins, uh, that could be the top two, top three, or top four competitors, depending on how the scores shake out, uh, then uh, you qualify to the grand finals, which is a money gauntlet. So you are uh, fighting for those top three spots, which will have their split of the prize money which is generously sponsored by the cubicle and by myself um, and by you guys. If you're interested in donating, uh, yeah. definitely do that. Uh, it helps the competitors and it, it helps leagues like, like this uh, continue because, you know, it's definitely a new idea and, you know, we're trying, we're trying to innovate, trying to bring you guys some more entertaining Cuban content. And uh, yeah, Luke will let us know when he's, uh, when he's ready to start. Okay. Luke is ready. Yeah. Okay, great. And uh, this is going to be match point for Bill Wang. If Bill Wang can win right now, the match is over. It'll be. This is a and uh, Bill match. doesn't seem that he doesn't seem to realize that we're actually starting right now. Yeah. Okay, there he is. Luke is already solving. Not having some. Mm, oh, no, that hot. Luke um, struggling. He's putting himself in a big hole right now. Nine thirty-seven. That's kind of not going to do him many favors. <laughs> no, yeah, no favors. That's for sure. You know, if I were Bill, I would just throw down a solid time here. Right. Yeah. Oh, and that's better than a solid time. Bill oh, Wang with a 594. A that's that's quite something. <laughs> oh, whoa. Yeah, and it's it's uh, looking rough for Luke. He's going to need to clutch this one out. That that's a that's a big gap to traverse. Like even though it's only a single, that that's quite a scary number to see um if you're in Luke's position. So We'll see how he uh, manages his nerves here. Um, looks like he's doing all right. Um, all a right, five. a five ninety six. That's quite. That's quite good. But <laughs> Bill obviously has many skills relating to cube solving as well. But he will <laughs> take a six ninety. He does indeed have many skills relating to cube solving. This is uh, the kind of observation you only hear from uh, Stanley Chapel. Uh, one of the best commentators of all time. Yeah, but yeah, Luke was as as Leo is pointing out. He was fast clapping before that five. Uh, yeah, and the, perhaps, the fast clapping yeah. strats. Uh, oh no, Luke really, really needs to get a good time here. He cannot afford to count anything bad. Just finish the solve. That's uh, what he's got to think. Seven forty-six is not entirely helpful but it's really dependent on what we're oh building. wow and bill struggling and bill will oh and pace. luke with a big sigh of relief realizing that he's still in this he's still got an uphill battle but it's not over it's not over and uh, if he can get a few a few low sixes some fives he's definitely got a good shot to stay in this yeah bill wang is the four by four world champ the four by four blindfolded world champion from 2017 Yes. Not many people know, but Bill actually started off as a four-blind solver. Yeah, uh, he so. was 
for quite a while a world record contender, but he unfortunately could not get very many competitions where he lived. So, oh, and, and, oh. and Bill with the 613. I think that this might is... do it. Oh, okay. Bill needs a 732 to win the match here. This is very, this is very intense. Like, Luke will need a pretty big advantage here. But he Luke will need Bill to mess up. He needs Bill to get worse than a 732. Yeah. And Bill can do that in his sleep. I mean. Right. Not only that, he will also have to get like a low six um, in order to really do this. So it's really going to be on Bill. Will he... Yeah, it's sub 732 or not. And it's looking like he's on PLL at 6. And oh, he will not. Oh no, and Luke gave up. Luke will essentially concede the match. Bill didn't um, get the 732, but he wins the match. Congrats, Bill Wang, taking the match 16 to 10. Look at that, dominating the last three rounds there. 3 0, 4 0, 3 0. Really showing uh, some class there. And. Uh, just dominating this match. Yeah, for sure. It was a very just neck and neck early game, but just really coming back right there at the end. Um, that's yeah, and that's it. that's gonna do it for the uh, first match of the season. Bill Wang taking that. Bill Clutch Wang. Very nice to see that. Uh, Stanley, any closing thoughts before we sign off here? Um. Yeah, so this is a great match. Um, thank you to both competitors for being here. Um, it's been great. I wish you both luck for uh, your future matches in the coming weeks. And from one four blind world champion to another, congrats on your win, Bill. <laughs> All right.